All right. Hey guys. We got a uh, 2009 Dodge Challenger with the 57 Hammer. We got the 57 Hemi with the MDS EZH sales code. Got a uh Hey, solid super. Ramundo. Got the uh you guys just showed up, probably wondering what's going on. 2009 uh, Challenger with the 5.7 Hammer. It's got the big hammer. That's the little Hemi, I guess, technically. Uh, with the MDS, the EZH sales code. Got a P1521 is the concern, because incorrect engine oil. Uh, customer says they were cranking the engine, the oil light came on, and it's gone off a few times. Now it's back to pending after some tests. Uh, let's see. That's all the DTCs. So I've already gone through and checked all the uh, all the data pids. It's got good um, oil pressure, good ECT. Everything looks good. Looks pretty rock solid. Even during the event, everything looked good. Uh, so of course, if you guys are familiar with these in the PCM here, there's a couple. Service bulletins. This one's, uh, if you go actually go to topology, if we go, we see the lightning bolts all mean flashes. There's one the TCM, PCM, the TIPM, the amplifier, and the in fact PCM's yellow means it's got a DTC in it. If we go there, we see that it shows the status is out of date. It means there's a software update. You can click on it right here to do that. And there's two bulletins attached to the software update. So there's one for engine runs rough at low RPM and the check engine light is illuminated for MDS re reactivation and misfire. Then there's also one for just different improvements. So if we go to the one for different improvements, opens up the service bulletin. We'll see it covers the challenger and the sales code. And there's all these symptoms, all kinds of check engine light stuff. Um, MDS, bucking, jerking, transition issues, drum groan sound. I'll grab it in just a second. Alrighty. Press the go button on this. And uh, some improved transmission shifting. Sorry, got interrupted there. Uh, and you'll see, upon further investigation, the technician may also find P1521 incorrect engine oil type has been set. Easy H engines only, which that's what this is. Uh, I don't find any other issues wrong, and it's pretty repeatable. So we are going to just do this flash. So... Also, anytime you do a PCM flash on a Dodge, you probably have to do a transmission control module flash as well, uh, especially if it's causing, you know, if it's fixing shift improvements. There's probably some correlating flashes. So if the TCM, let's go back out here to the topology. We'll go back up. Select the topology. All flashes. We see there's one for the TCM up top there. So we're gonna do this PCM and TCM flash. We'll start with the PCM flash. All right, gives you some, some warnings there telling you not to update unless you know what you're doing. I understand the flash could cause issues. Yep, we're doing it. Let's see, scroll down here. Technical service bulletin recommended flash, address complaint. P1521, they probably don't even read these from us. I know they read them from the dealership guys. And then we click flash ECU. And then we're going to, let's see here. Hey, Chad. Asked me to log in. I logged in there. And then it's going to start the flash. So that's that's kind of how flash process goes with the YTEC 2.0. Um, this is going to go through pretty quick. Keep in mind, I didn't just like go to flash this. I've got a maintainer on it at 13.6 volts and yeah my a tools laptop is pretty stable that's what's nice about it it is a a tools sa14 uh, gamma tech dura book it's loading the flash file anyways we've got a rock solid maintainer on it so we're good to go um don't have to worry about that 13.7 volts is what i've got it set at puts about 13.6 into the modules what it's reading um but that's uh that's the flash, then the same procedure for the TCM. So that's kind of 
where we're at on it. You know what's bad about any time you're doing a flash to fix a, uh, a DTC? It's especially if it's intermittent, it's really difficult to, uh, to make that determination, you know, unless you've got something that's really simple to, to determine is only a software update. It's hard to prove that. Uh, so this is kind of step one, you know, I mean, if, if the issue comes back, we're going to start looking at other things, but the, the car recently had an oil change somewhere. Um, we checked, it's got good, clean, new oil. We checked the receipt shows they used Castrol Edge, which does meet Chrysler's MS6395 specification for the engine oil. Uh, it's full, it's clean, um, it looks good. So, you know, we're pretty confident this this is the issue and it was sold that way. It was sold that, hey, this software updates has a ton of improvements for transmission issues, all kinds of stuff, which the customers started to say, hey, yeah, I do kind of have a harsh shift and these things. So he's probably gonna enjoy some of these other uh, benefits and features of this software update. Um, but either way, oh, I guess I got to click the continue button. Why didn't you guys say something? You got to tell me what to do. You guys are supposed to be helping me out. Um, the newest Bosch interface, I don't know anything about the release date yet. Um, I know that Drew Tech just pushed theirs out. Um, the Cardac 3, and I did hold one of those units not too long ago. It covers Mega Can and... A ton of other stuff in it so it's a um, supposed to be a pretty good interface i hope bosch's new interface is coming soon because drew tech's already out on the market with their cardac 3. Um, i was recently at the uh, autologic ncts uh, national conference and text uh, technician service something expo sorry i forgot what it was ncts it was in orlando went there to the autologic thing they had um since you know autologic drew tech far side they're all under one under one house now you know this group owns the whole stuff out there for um for them hold on we got we got a visitor do you have any tweezers i don't right. sorry bud that was that was caleb i guess he was bored um needed tweezers <laughs> anyways i went to the ncts and they debuted you know some stuff they've got come out the pike and i uh, got to play with the cardac 3 it's a pretty nice unit it looks to be the same housing as the cardac 2 so it's nothing new or flashy looking it looks exactly the same just a new label uh but i hope bosch's unit comes out um we'll see how that goes i don't i'm not really in need of a new unit yet but uh you never know anyways uh i'm probably gonna get off here guys i hope you uh, enjoyed this quick little update i've been trying to put out more content it's hard been really busy Got a lot more training events coming up. Um, so, selfie cam in it a little bit, and I can't turn it into a little live stream. So, I live. So, but uh, it's kind of warm in here. Anyways, uh, I can't roll a window down, by the way. It's in the middle of this flash. <laughs> it's giving me a bunch of errors now because the PCM's off the network. There's a ton of more training stuff. We're going to be at Super Saturday, uh, October the 13th, almost all of us from Train by Techs. So we'll be there uh, in Philly for that. So please come out and see us. We're hopefully going to have a whole bunch more swag to give away. Um, check out our website, trainbytex.com. Uh, there's an apparel link. We've got some T-shirts and stuff. And um, I will be putting some T-shirts up of mine. I, I don't have a website, but you know I'll make some kind of link available somewhere to get some of my L1 shirts. Um, what else we got going on that's interesting? Uh, let's check the flash out. Where are we at? Sorry, trying to catch up with the chat too. Sure you will. What were you talking about, Keith? Sure I will what? Quit flashing. No, I'll never quit flashing stuff. I'll always be flashing people, cars, things. <laughs> anyways um make the shirts available oh yeah i really gotta you know you guys i don't know if you guys know or not my wife makes like all my shirts she does all the she does the cricket thing she's got the um she's got a cricket and does a ton of vinyl stuff she does it for a lot of people so she's pretty busy with that uh -huh. and i had one shirt available i have up there it's the shirt that says uh resistance is not futile it's uh, voltage equals amperage over resistance, or ohm, bleh, resistance is equal to current over ohms.
chrono resistance, whatever. I can't think. Sorry, I'm trying to read this. I gotta go do some. I got another car. Um. Anyways, I will make some shirts available at some point in time. I think I'll take a picture of the shirts I got and then put up a link for order. Um, or if you guys want to email me at, uh, you know what? Hold on. I'll get a link for you. It'll make it better. I'll get a link because it'll be easier to keep track because I won't. I'll lose your emails in my email address. Um. Anyways, so we'll see you guys Super Saturday if you're there. Um, and then after that, I don't know what training event I have next. I won't be at ASTE. I know a ton of, I think Keith's going to be at Super Saturday. You're pretty close, right, Keith? I'm sorry, I have to spend my phone. 9 Iron had a great interview. Oh, I haven't watched, uh, that's right. I have not watched uh, Mike Molesky's interview with Carm Capriato on the Markable Results podcast yet. I need to. Um, Sorry, that's our nickname for Mike Molesky is Nine Iron. <laughs> Anyways, um, Chad, we'll see you there. So come by and say hi to us. We'll have a little booth set up with a banner and hopefully some swag to give you or something. We'll see. I don't know where we're at on that yet. But anyways, my wife makes a ton of shirts. I'll get a link. I promise I will. I promise, Keith. I'll get one. Get a link set up so you guys can see that. Uh, Flash is up to date. See you, Mario. All right, I gotta start the TCM flash on this thing. Then I gotta, I gotta just grab another. I gotta get another car done. I got another one to go look at. So we'll see you guys later. Peace. I gotta go. Like, comment, subscribe. Thumbs up. If you thumbs up the video, uh, it shows us a like and shows gives me a better, you know, YouTube algorithms special thingy to show up next on the right. You know, that's where everyone likes to click. That's all the stuff is the the algorithms show over there. So please thumbs up. Uh, ho hopefully it gives me some more exposure. Remember guys, uh, the more tools I can get, uh, the more I'll give away. So this, if you're a company out there watching, yes, I do tool reviews, send me one, and then I'm going to give it away to somebody. So, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Have fun.